In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear people of God, I am Reverend Deacon Francis Xavier Boniza from St. Mary's National Seminary, Gaba. I come to invite you, reflect with me on the word of God of today, the first day of the first week of Advent. And we shall be guided by the theme, God fulfills his promise and his will. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 9, we see the disciples of Christ asking him, why do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? Jesus replied to them, Elijah will come and restore all things. The prior coming of Elijah before Christ was a prophetic promise God made to his people in Malachi chapter 3, verse 23 to 24, which constitutes part of our first reading today. In today's gospel, we see the fulfillment of God's promise to his people in the birth of John the Baptist, the new Elijah, who came with a clear purpose of going ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him and appoint, and point to the Messiah to men. He had a mission to bring about reconciliation among the people of God and conversion of their hearts through his proclamation of the good news of the advent of their Messiah. We do well to remember that, the, that God made a promise to Zachariah while he was on duty in the sanctuary. And he said to him, your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son and you shall name him John. As we read from the Gospel of St. Luke chapter one, verse five to 25. Despite Zechariah's old age with his wife, God fulfilled his promise according to his will of saving the world. As we draw nearer towards the celebration of the great mystery of the incarnation of the word made fresh, dear brethren, we are invited to draw attention totally to the preparation, our final preparation of ourselves so that we can give him a befitting welcome. The fulfillment of God's promise to the people of Israel about the coming of Elijah and the fulfillment of God's promise to Zechariah about the birth of John the Baptist with his wife Elizabeth should unite our hearts ablaze and raise our faith that God will surely fulfill his promises for us as he plans and his plans do not fail. Let us always remember the promises God made to us through his son Jesus Christ that so that we may not be caught of God. He promised to come again the second time as a judge of all people, to distinguish between his own and those against him, between the sheep and the goats, those who would sit on his right and those who would sit on his left respectively. Zechariah found the favor with God because of his righteousness, observance of his God's commandments, and faithfulness in prayer. Sure, God fulfills his promises with the birth of John the Baptist. Similarly, God seeks for our trust, commitment, and love for him from a sincere heart as we imitate Zechariah in putting our prayer before him with faith being righteous before him, observing his commandments, and doing his will. In turn, God will surely come to our aid and answer our cries and prayers in all our needs and our worries of life. As we wait for his coming, let, yet he is already among us, let us continue to get rid of impurities from our hearts through the gifts of, the, of Christ in the church especially through the sacraments, which purify us through constant prayer and with a strong faith in him so that we may be worthy of to welcome him and our hearts be his clean accommodation. I wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you.
you know it forever. Amen.